Good morning. Say happy Friday. Ah. Say happy Friday. Happy Friday. Oh, is he going? Is he staying in bed? So it's Friday the 7th of December and it's 5 to 7 and I'm just a little bit early with my breakfast because Andrew's doing the walk today, the dog walk uh, and it's raining so lucky me I get, get out of doing the walk, the dog walk in the rain. He's still in bed though at the minute, and as as is Charlie. Um, so my breakfast this morning is the Quaker Oats So Simple Big Bowl Original Porridge, which is a healthy extra B, made up with about 200 ml of almond milk, and you probably can't see, but there's actually a full chopped pear in there, and then I've got some of the Skinny Syrup Smooth Chocolate, which is sin free. My usual coffee, also made with almond milk. My coffees this morning were, or today, were cinnamon, hazelnut and cookie dough. That's for later on tonight. So I've got cinnamon, hazelnut this morning. This flavour and the coconut delight are probably my two least favourite flavours. But they are drinkable. So I'll go and eat this now. But I still, I still had to go outside in the rain into the garage to get my food for today because I forgot to get it out last night but hopefully they'll defrost in time for lunch and dinner. Friday lunch is my winter vegetable soup. When I got it out of the freezer I actually thought it was tomato but never mind this is just as nice. So winter vegetable soup, it's made from a little stew pack that I get from Morrison's. It's two carrots, two small onions, one potato and a swede, I think. I think that's it. Uh, you can use anything, throw anything in um, with some chicken stock and herbs and spices. Then I've got two Linda McCartney vegetarian sausages, half a sin each, so one sin there and a few leftover tomatoes. Then I've got um, a pink lady apple and an easy peeler with a diet lemonade. Andrew's also got soup and bread. He's enjoying his day off. And I'm working. Just sitting down, just made a coffee. Uh, mid-afternoon and it's my afternoon snack but before I eat this my soup wasn't winter vegetable it was the roasted pepper and tomato soup so that's been in the freezer a while so I'm glad that that's come to the top and been used up um, but that is a recipe that's on my channel red pepper and tomato soup I believe it is anyway so my afternoon snack is um, Sweetened quark made with skinny syrup and sugar-free Ribena, a chopped pear and a coffee. So that is sin-free. I know you can't see anything, but I just thought I'd catch up with you and share my dog walk with you. It's cold, it's wet, it's not raining at the moment, but I've got my umbrella just in case. So yeah, work finished for the day, so it'll be about 20 to 5 now and I'll, me and Charlie will go for about 20, 20 to 30 minute walk and get back for tea. But it's pretty cold actually, I thought it was raining, uh, but it's not, but it, it's, uh, it's not raining at the moment, but it's wet underfoot and it's pretty biting cold. Can you see these? I've got the lights up on this house. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm shivering with the cold. Keep moving. Catch you later at tea time. Back from our walk. 
and we are still de defrosting. It did uh, rain halfway round, so we got wet as well. Charlie's causing havoc with the remotes as usual. Um, my evening meal is nacho style feast, sort of. So it's the mince made with the spice and tice nacho style feast. I've got that out of the freezer this morning um, and just warmed it through. And then I've got potato and carrot chips on the side and mixed veg, carrots, broccoli and cauliflower. And then I've got 40 grams of light cheese as my second healthy extra because I've had almond milk as my first one. So that is completely sin free with my healthy extra A. And the other half of the Vimto flavoured quark and some defrosted blueberries and a sugar free Vimto as a drink. And this one we'll need playing with for a good couple of hours tonight to uh, settle him down. <clears throat> so tea eaten and I'm just doing some preparations for tomorrow, Saturday. So I just thought I'd show you quickly again how to make my baked oats. So I've got a small grated carrot in there, finely grated. Then I've got 40 grams of oats for my healthy extra B. Just normal, I think these are just Morrison's rolled oats. <clears throat> I need to get some more next week. Forty grams of oats onto my carrot, then one egg, and we'll just reset that. Take it back to Mills. Oh, it's gone to unsteady now. And then I'm going to add about 40 ml of almond milk. You don't have to, you can use any milk you want and count it as part of your healthy extra A, or you can use a bit of yogurt or quark. So 40 ml of milk, just depends what, what kind of consistency you like. Then you want to add some sweetener. I like to add skinny syrup. This one is chocolate caramel truffle, a couple of squirts of that and I've got my um, oven preheating to 190 degrees and then I'm going to use this smooth chocolate skinny syrup which is free on the plan, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you can get this, they've got an Instagram account and you, and you can also get it online. Um, and I'm just going to go a couple of squirts of that to make them a bit of a chocolatey flavour. And the reason why I, I add the carrot is, is for the speed element but also um, it makes it go a bit further. So I will now hopefully get four little muffins out of this mixture. And if you've watched me for a while, you'll know that I have three for my breakfast and save one to be part of my evening snack. So that's that. So while I'm waiting for my um, while I'm waiting for my microwave oven to heat up, I think you're a bit blurred. That's better. While I'm waiting for my oven to heat up, I wanted to ask you about my trailer. So apparently, I've just been on a part of YouTube that I haven't seen before, just looking for my fry light. And I can now make a trailer for my channel for new people to see. So those of you who've been watching me for a while, what kind of thing should be in my trailer? So I'm just getting some fry light and putting a spray in these silicone cases. 
So should it be just like a chatty introduction to say what I'm about? Should it be photographs with text or something else? You will let me know. And now, <clears throat> so that's my trailer. So if you've got any ideas what I should put in my trailer, no idea when I'll get around to doing it, mind. But uh, if I can start getting in some ideas together, that would be good. I'm just now splitting the mixture between these four, four muffin cases. So these will be completely sin free, just using my Healthy Extra B for the oats. So when the oven's heated up, um, I'll cook them on 190 degrees for 25 minutes and you'll see them tomorrow at breakfast. And then I think what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to film another recipe tonight for something to go with my lunch tomorrow. So there might be a recipe coming up next week as well. Well it's now 25 past 7. My chocolate baked oats are done, ready for the morning. I've also got my frozen fruit out to defrost. I've chopped an onion and a pepper for the salads for next week or for the next few days anyway. And I've also made some ham and egg muffins for a recipe. And one of them came out slightly smaller than the rest. So I'm just going to taste test. Mm. Yeah, really nice. Just nice as a little snack or to go with lunch. And what's in there is smoked ham, pepper, red onion and egg. And you'll see the recipe next week sometime. So now it's... Oh, and I've also got my supper ready, which I'll have in about half an hour or so. I'll get in my pyjamas, go through all my comments and uh, all my social media stuff, and then I'll eat my supper. Well, it's getting on for half past eight, and I'm ready to sit down with my um, supper. So I've got some... Um, pea snacks from Aldi, salt and vinegar, which are um, four sins. I've got a easy peeler, uh, the last piece of my quick Christmas cake, um, and the rest is in the freezer. Uh, so that's five and a half sins. A mini Toblerone for one and a half sins, and my Claudia Baker's Kitchen Advent Calendar Bliss Bite Day 7, which I think is a dark chocolate mint one. And if you are coming, to, if you do make this uh, last minute Christmas cake and you come into the last few days of it, just pop it in the microwave for 10 seconds and it'll um, soften it up a little bit again. So I've had 14 sins today and I've also got my usual coffee. Uh, which is the beanies cookie dough and I just want to show you this the lovely Ruth who is one of our lovely followers uh, my lovely followers and subscribers has sent me this instead of a Christmas card it's a little coaster personalised and it's got a photo of Charlie on the rug then Andrew holding Charlie that's quite an early one is that and then this is when we went to collect Charlie from the breeders. So that's our first photo with Charlie. And then this one is probably a few weeks after this because it's a bit bigger. Uh, but still when we're having the nice weather and it's me standing out in the garden with Charlie. So I have already personally thanked Ruth. But thank you very much Ruth. And thank you very much for watching today's vlog.